Introduction. This video is designed to provide you with a basic familiarity of Vectorworks' terminology and core concepts as you learn to use Vectorworks to design, communicate, and document your ideas. In this guide, the term pointer is used throughout the instructions to denote the mouse, trackball, or other device that you use to control your computer's on-screen cursor. We feel that this method gives you more obvious feedback as you become acquainted with the software. Interface Elements Let's begin with a quick description of the interface elements in Vectorworks. Document Window The largest region in the center of the display is the document window. The document window is tinted with subtle colors to indicate the projection or layer context. For example, the document window is cream for a top plan view and a light green for 3D views. You'll see a pure white background for sheet layers. The document window also, optionally, displays various types of coordinate grids, which identify working planes as they are projected in the document window. The print page boundary is shown as a light gray rectangle and can show additional divisions to indicate that tiling will be performed when printing an area that is too small to fit on a single page. Menu bar, view bar, toolbar, and message bar. Immediately above the document window are four horizontal information strips. At the very top is the menu bar, and below that the title bar, which displays the file name of the document window contents. Below these two bars is the view bar, which is the status dashboard of Vectorworks. Always check the view bar to help understand the context of what you're looking at in the document window. The visible controls in the view bar are shown with a check mark in the list of view bar elements under the small arrow in the rightmost portion of the view bar. You can customize what is shown in the view bar with this list, but for now we'll leave it alone. Below the view bar is the toolbar. Whenever a tool is selected, the toolbar offers mode buttons that control how the active tool will work. In addition, Check for instructions to the right of the mode buttons, which explain what to do before each step as you use the tool. Framing the document window vertically to the left and horizontally below the toolbar are rulers to help you understand the size of the area displayed in the document window as you zoom and pan about within that window. Across the bottom of the document window is a gray strip where general help appears to the left and the coordinates of the cursor to the right. Watch the right part of this bar for minor alerts in red, and the progress bar to estimate the time remaining during long operations such as rendering and importing. 